What is all this crap you've got open on your computer, man? Okay, so here we are at Gotta Know Joe Hobbies in Spring, Texas, and we are going to attempt. We've been having some problems with uh, the last batch of uh, the simulators from China, and I've been claiming I was going to do another install video, and hopefully, this one won't be as bad as the last as far as problems are concerned. So uh, this is the one that we are uh, getting ready to attempt to uh, install and you get in the package a couple of uh, wire connectors that go to your dongle this is your dongle I like saying the word dongle almost as much as I like saying lumpkin <laughs> <laughs> So Joe and George from Katy are here with us today to uh, watch the sparks and the smoke. So this, uh, the last copy that we had in here, uh, did, have you, do you have it completely removed yet? No, it's, no? it's, it's all. Removed. Okay, so it, this is, in case you have a, uh, a copy of Real Flight or Simulants thereof on your computer, it's always best to delete that thing and uh, I'm going to do it by going into the control panel and then we will go over to uh, where is it programs and uh, programs and features and then that's going to give you a list of everything uh, that you have there available and we're old so we've all got a gawk but uh, see we've got a a slew of real flight here so what we're going to do we're going to uninstall this one here and uh, what does that say do you want to completely remove yes and I wish we had this on a bigger you know what, i tell you what, we're going to put this on pause and um, we're going to HDMI this over to a big screen. Let me see here. Okay, we're going to try this again. Testing one, two. Let's see, we've got the mic, furry mic is on. And now... Ah, there we go. Now we can stand behind the computer and get this done. Okay, so what we have here is uh, this is Joe's screen on the other Joe's com or Joe's computer on Joe's screen, the other Joe's screen. So you want to stick that uh, DVD in real quick, and uh, I think what I was saying before I got rudely interrupted myself was. Uh, you get, uh, wait a minute, we got, yeah, okay, yeah, so you get a dongle, and you get a couple of connectors that go to Spectrum, Futaba, High Tech, here's another one, and, uh, a CD, and, uh, that's what we are getting ready to open now, is the CD that is on this thing. And uh, is that D? There we go. That's what I was wanting to see. Okay. What well, thing is working over there, isn't it? Okay. So you see, you've got these auto run files here. And if you look over here to your right, one is an icon, one is an application. And you want to click the application. Now, bear with us. I've never installed this version uh, of this program so we are doing this all together for the very first time it looks pretty much cut and dry like the other one um, we're gonna bypass at this point 
the uh, I guess it's the Feeing simulator. Uh, we are going to install the DirectX just to make sure that that's up to snuff because without DirectX this will not run. Everything about this process is slow. There's nothing fast about it. Yeah. Usually the Phoenix though, it'll install, you know, and get you up and running pretty quick. The only thing is getting the communication between the uh, radio and the software. Going. That's what you gotta do. You gotta shake this a little bit, make this work. Wake it up and go, hey, get over here, hey you. They don't fool around once they get started, though. What is all this crap you've got open on your computer, man? Where? All of this stuff here. Oh, man, I don't know. That's, a lot of that's just shortcuts, you know, quick clicks, quick links. Man, Lord Almighty, man. You're trying to confuse a computer. See that damn Phoenix Aero file, that stuff's still all on there, too. I just drive it. I don't know what makes it. Let's see here. Let's multitask. Since Bill Gates says we can. Ah, I just did that. That XDR, I don't really care for a whole bunch. The Aerofly is not bad. Think about the glass on the go-kart, man. Doesn't that look sharp? That came out of Compass Bank that I tore down about six years ago. Uh, I, I got the gig to tear that bank down. And, uh, instead of throwing everything away, I decided I was going to you know, pedal all of it. And we did very well, but that door is like bulletproof Lexan or polycarbonates or whatever. There was a door that would shut in front of the safe and it closed, you know, in front of the, or behind the, uh, the, the big safe door. You know, so I guess if somebody come in there and rob the place or whatever, you can slam that door shut and they can shoot at you. Well, I took it off and I've been holding it over in storage forever and we went over there to drop a couple of table saws off and I seen that thing and I said, man, let's put that on that damn golf cart, you know. And we uh, did the front windshield and then we had that little back piece you know a little piece left over and I said well man we'll hang that on the back end and angle it with the frame and boy it really come out looking nice man it really made that cart look a lot better all right I think we're all other scroll down a little bit because I think don't they have that thing hanging or whatever that uh... I got that one right up front I think that was the first one I got is that the one you got already I think so I don't see anything. That, was that switch, yeah. Yeah. I'm well, damn sure make sure that switch is not there. Okay. Now, DirectX is now installed and we can move forward. Okay. Now, let's go through these tabs real quick, quick shall we? This is G7 Real Flight Install. There's the delete the serial numbers, which we'll go across that in a little while. This is install the serial numbers. We'll go across that here in a little bit too. This is update reflight, install Phoenix. Uh, that's the reflex and free rider. I don't that, and see this is FPV. That's this is new. You know this didn't come on that other CD. So we may play with that uh, here in a minute. But let's get over here to what we came for in the first place. Now I don't see anything about a switch, and that's. That pleases me because the switch was kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah, right there. Yeah. 
let me uh i'll tell you what we can go uh let me see here to open file locate i dead gummit no my fingers just don't work like they used to open file location and then we can delete that from right there and that'll keep that thing from working okay so we are going to start the task of installing real flight g7 on this computer and it's going to take some time now after you click it uh, let's see once things start moving i like to move this thing over but it'll let you so you can see what's going on behind it i can't tell if it's trying to load now or not there's your cd humming over there i think that's what that Look at the light right there under the screen. See the I two? see the disk drive working. All right. Yeah. Mm. And, the, and the CD drive running. Let's also let's get you. Oh, you might already be. Yeah, you're already on our uh, on our Wi-Fi here. Yeah, something's going on. Kill that shortcut too. That was the serial numbers from the old one. Yeah, the, uh, I'll leave that there. There we go. Okay, it's asking you what file, just leave that alone and go to next, unless you just like being difficult. Let's see, unknown error while accessing. Okay, I don't know what that meant. What is this damn thing? That's my printer. Okay. I don't see anything going over there to you. Looks like it stopped. Try it again. Because the disc isn't running over here. Now it's an error occurred while accessing the program file. It's a deal file. Okay, so let's uh, take a picture of that. Let's keep PC clean thing mm -hmm. That's 32-bit version now. to uh, where's your Windows sys wow 64 
guess you just put it here. Joe folder. Do you know what the Joe folder is? No. Nope. All right, and let's do this here. We're going to go back to downloads. Um, open folder. copy this and we want to go back to windows windows well wow 64 something it's just what oh yeah it's all we just go off and paste right if it'll let it yeah continue Alright, I'm going to see if that fixed it, folks. Back to this. Then come up with another one. I'm going to open this help file. Did we get this far last time? I don't think so. It says it didn't work. Yeah, maybe you're working now. There you go. Yeah, I know we didn't get this one. Cool. Yeah. The key is persistency. Before you throw your hands up and start cussing. I didn't throw your hands up and cussing and get persistent. Yeah. Let's see if I got a recents. Where's that seed of the Okay. 
vital information here. I ain't moved nothing. <laughs> I gotta find me a bookkeeper, boys. I can't believe with all the people we know, I can't find a bookkeeper. Somebody wants to work part time, or you know it? You don't know anybody that wants to? Yeah, if you know anybody, let me know. Well, you got some busy duty, man. This is all shit you do. Aren't those little things handy? Very handy. I'm buying by the hundreds. Really? Yeah. Insert disc six. What? When it asks you for different disc, you just keep hitting OK and retry and retry and OK. Just keep going, huh? And there's all kinds of little windows here open. I don't know what in the hell is going on there. While we're uh, while you're looking at that, mm -hmm. I need a CG machine, a complete one. That looks complete. That one's missing a piece. What piece is it missing? It's missing a, one of these. How's it missing? Right, right here. It's missing. No, you got. It. That's the end. Oh, it's that, missing the little. That's the ends that this one doesn't have. Yeah. But this one needs one of these. It needs one of what? One of these. The pads. I don't follow you. This is goes. This goes on. No, I understand. This one's missing one of these. No, it's this Kim, one. Kim said you want hot dogs. Huh? Kim asked if you want some hot dogs right now. No. This is was in with this one. Yeah. It's only got one note. It needs right. To have two. Oh, I don't understand that. This yeah. one is missing the ends. Well, then take them off of there. I'll take this off of here. Okay? Yeah, whatever you want to do. Might as well just take both of them if you want, because uh, a half of one ain't going to be worth the shit. You know what I mean? What you want for that? I don't know. I'll look it up. Okay. Look in that box. It might be in the box. Bottom of that box or whatever, man. Which box? The, the well, one, wherever it come from. Well, it was in this box here. Yeah. Okay. What do you think it might be in it? Where did you pick this other one up, Joe? That was that one. Was Joe Shaw. One was out of there. I gotta be honest with you, I don't like them CG machines. They're okay for little planes, but they where the crap for big ones. I've got two holes drilled in this table somewhere. <laughs> that I've got big dowel rods going there. One thing that old man did though that I think was kinda cool is he put Velcro on his CGs. Yes. So it wouldn't slide off the machine. And that, that was actually pretty smart. If you can get it stabbed right. Mm -hmm. You know. Because that is a problem. Yeah, go to the battery box and see. And put Velcro in there. They actually glued it in. Yeah. <laughs> it just went on and on. And again, I'm stressing you. I'm not no, no, yeah, yeah, I understand. But I'm just shaking my head that somebody would just half-ass do it. 
if if you especially for somebody that had been in the hobby for so damn long. You, you know, would call my covering jobs half-assed, but mechanically, they're pretty good. Yeah. I love covering, man. I just don't have the time to do it the right way. And if I can't do it the right way, I don't want to do it, you know? Is there anything in here that go with that other one? Yeah, we keep that there. Uh -huh. We just keep that there. <laughs> Joe found this. I don't know anybody else. He got some attention. Found this under the table. It's empty. So we'll set it over there. Yeah, that might be. That one goes to mine up here. Okay, I'll yeah. just I'll stick with my Yeah, yeah. Planes quit making all that cool crap. I'm telling you. Got right to the end and had another error. Another error? Mm-hmm. Too much. But does it keep going? Looks like this is it. Yeah, it started back up. George, hang on. It's the same place. This is where it let off. Yeah, very peculiar. Yeah. Okay, I got the pieces. All right, I'm put that one back in there. Put it back. Put it now we're, oh, in here? Yeah, that's what I'm saying for it. And you got two uh, mounts? You got two? Yeah. Okay, now this is asking for that same deal file and knife's edge. Knife's edge. said again. Well, knife edge is that download site, isn't it? That you were telling me about? Well, it's all part of the software, though, too. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Just keep running it and running it, huh? And so far, it seems, because see, it gets to this point here. Might have been able to do that with that deal file, too. You know? Just keep. But no, I think we did the deal file like three times, and it didn't didn't go. Of course, we're yet to see if the damn thing's gonna run, you know. Yeah. I bought quite a few of them. I hope they're not problematic. I want to see your chinglish answers to your questions tonight. Which uh, answers is that? Or when questions? you start asking questions of whoever made it, yeah, okay, well, unless you get back. You know, you got to feel kind of bad for them folks over there, man. Over oh, yeah. there. In China. You know, they put their pants on the same way we do. Yeah. You know, they just live under a crappy government. There you go. There you go. Okay, yes. Let's see here. It did that with the other one as well. Okay. 
know why it's installing this again. Hmm. Don't ask questions, I just hit the next button. Surely I didn't accidentally hit that. I don't know, it says finished though, so. Let's see here. Alright. Now Mike should have done this first. Why not it's asking for the information, right? Yeah, let me close this right now then. Alright. Now let's see here. Hardware. Level of the checkbox is counterfeit. All right. Uh -oh. They going in now? No. No. How about now? Try it on that no. computer over there. What do you need? Two six seven. No. No. Nope. Uh, so you gotta have probably something. Oh, I know what the problem here. is. I know what the problem is. What's that? We don't have nothing plugged in. Oh well. So at this point, we are gonna take dongle A and plug into wire B that goes into computer C. Oh uh, wait a minute. We want to make sure that this is. Uh, have a switch. Yeah, it's got a switch. It's got to be in the second position for real flight. And uh, easier said than done. If you notice right here, it's got different names on it, and then the little switch is over here, and we got it in second position. So dongle A to cable B, and then that goes to computer C, and then this is the wire ND to transmitter E. And transmitter E is not going to be turned on with a switch. It's going to be turned on when you plug this into the trainer port, which is on the back of transmitter E. It's got to have batteries. And it's got to have batteries for it to come on. So you don't have batteries, I'm taking it. I took them out. Conveniently, right before you left the house? No. <laughs> yeah. Hold hey. on. Let me see here. I just happen to have $22 double A's. In stock. Let's see here. We'll take them back out. $22 each. Yeah. Well, yeah. Each. Because once I verify that they work, yeah, once I'm you wear, sell them back to them for twenty three dollars each. No, well, but the problem is, is that, uh, <laughs> but then they're used. Yeah, once they're, they're plugged in, they're, they're used. They're used. Well, these are obviously used. You don't use them because you don't turn it on. You let's just see here. Right, right, now right. let's see if we can just find, the, a find the cable. <laughs> let's see here. Bink, bink, bink. Now look at that, dude. Look at that, it, sh it lit up, they ling, it put in the... It put in the serial numbers and they're different from ones on the deal. Yeah, well, there you go, so that's the one, but that's the... Oh, wait here, hold this for a second. That's saved in the dongle. Maybe. Well, I mean, that's what it says. Yeah. Let's see what happens if we do that. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, it does say counterfeit, doesn't it? I didn't see that, George. <laughs> yeah. That is funny. Okay. Uh, Simulator connected, real flight G5R8. Already been saved when manufacturer original data. Wait a minute, serial number already saved when, when manufactured. manufactured. Serial will be overwritten. Are you sure you? No, I do not want to do that right now. All right, let's see here. So do we click on real flight G5? Uh -huh. 
they changed. So. Did they? Yeah. That's real flight G5. See? They change it? I don't, they look the same to me. Oh, I don't know. I couldn't, I wasn't, I can't see the numbers. Check another one. They look the same. So what happens next? I don't know. I'm gonna close that and I'm gonna... Click finish over here? No, I'm gonna do this one more. Wait a minute, let's see here. Yeah, let's see, complete. What in the hell is that? That looks like the dongle. And real flights up on the screen. Right there. Can't be that easy. Obviously something wrong if it's that easy. Well, maybe. Takes a minute to... Had to do it as run as administrator. Right click. There we go. All right. Now, R7, nothing's happening, nothing's happening, there we go, there we go, I'm going to call it out to you, nah, eight one, Now I've got to do this for uh, security reasons. Blur that a little bit. And then uh, we got to go over here. Okay, and then the controller is the I3 number. I3. Well, it's going to want the. Uh, yeah, you have to put it in this time. Is it I or L? I can't remember. It's, uh, it's, I think it's I3. Okay, so this one here is from a different supplier. Let's get by here. It is from a different supplier, and uh, the steps were odd to get it to fire so far, but uh, much easier than the last supplier that I've been buying from. The only thing we had to download was that DLL file. That will all be, let's see here, plane should take off, yep, just like it always does. Then we want to go over here to simulation, let's make sure we're still recording, yeah, okay. Yes, dear? What happened? Yep, I got the same thing happened to me when I was his age. Yep. 
Yeah, okay. All right, well, let me keep me posted. All right, bye bye. The grandson got hit in the eye with a baseball bat. Oh, wow. And it happened to me about his age. Uh, standing too close to the catcher, or you know, the baseball, uh, the batter, and I was catching. And he swung back. And when he swung the ball, he missed. He come all the way around and clipped me right there. Yeah. How's her ankle? Mama's? Yeah. Ah, it's better. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she doesn't complain about it much anymore. <laughs> so it must be. Because you stopped listening? Or? No, I did that a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this one here, radio, we want to go down to Spectrum. Spectrum. Okay, and then we want to go to edit, and let me see here. Uh, now we need to back out of this first off, and we need to calibrate. All right, we need to center everything. Push all of your switches up or away from you, best you can. Joe, you want to come drive this? Sure. All right, and then uh, make sure that one's centered there, your throttle. All right, and now I need you to wiggle everything up and down, and uh, all your all your switches, move okay. them back towards you and then back away, and then your, your, yeah, all the way around. Just roll them all the way around there far enough. We're not getting anything there, are we? Okay, so we need to cancel that, and that's okay. Don't worry about that. Let's see here. We're going to go back up here to interlink and we'll click on this one. All right. Then we're going to hit calibrate, recenter everything. And next, okay, now we're working. So move everything and wiggle it. All right. Now try all your switches. Okay, finished. All right. Uh, wiggle. Okay, just one at a time. Let's uh, touch your rudder. Okay, that's. Is the rudder backwards? Yeah, rudder's backwards. Okay, touch elevator. Nothing's happening. Right there it goes. Nope. So. No, it's. Uh, move it to the right and left there. It's going down a little bit. Okay. No, you see it's on the wrong channel too. That's yeah, on we'll, we'll fix that. Okay, and then do the aileron. Aileron's is doing the elevator. Okay. And the elevator's not doing any. All right, so let's go in here to edit. Okay, so we know right off the bat that we've got to do that. Okay, let's do your uh, throttle. Okay, we need to change this one here to throttle. Okay, and uh, do your uh, rudder. Elevator. Do your rudder. Rudder. Yeah. Okay, now let's move over to your ailerons. It's on the elevator. So okay, and let's see here. That's ailerons. Okay. And elevators look right. Okay. Six is four. So and you've only got one switch, so flip it. That's the. That's okay. You want dual rates there? Well, that's normally isn't that normally flaps or it, gear? Gear it can be. It can be anything you want yeah, it to be. You, you, you follow me? Yeah, but you're probably, you really you want your dual rates there. On this one? Yeah. Okay. That's and then use this here, uh, all of this stuff here off your keyboard. You follow me? Okay, so I won't get anything else off of the uh, right. Yeah, but you want your dual rates because that's that's affects your flying. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna save this. Two. Okay, and I'm gonna close this. Now check direction of everything again. Rudder's right. Elevator, elevator needs to be reversed. Elevator needs to be reversed. Ailerons are correct. Okay. I couldn't see the throttle, so. Alright, so we wanna edit and we need to do reverse elevator, correct? Right. Okay and save 
or save as. Okay. Yes. Close. Okay. Now. No throttle. You are not going to until you hit space bar. Okay. Go. Fly. Fly. Oh, I see. You're going to turn around and go that way. That's such a good flying model. <laughs> that's got to get. <laughs> that's got to go. <laughs> So let's see what we got here for uh, aircraft. Let's see what they gave us. Isn't that a few? Yeah. Okay. So what you can do though. Uh, Let's see here. I'm going to minimize that and I'm going to go over here to this here. We seem to have a lot of real flights opened across there. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there, brother. That's just, Do we need just to close it all? Or? Uh, we will here in a minute. Yeah. Knife edge swap pages. Okay. Now the the search engine in this on this site, from my experience, is horrible. Okay. Um, and there's a lot of files on there that you really just don't know what in the heck they are or what they do. The ones that end in CS, that stands for a color scheme. Um, this is a variant, aircraft variant, um, let's see, the one that ends in AV, um, airports, yeah, that's, that's airport, so, but what you're looking for when you want a plane is you're looking for an EA file, okay, so I'm going to open this in a new window, do you have an account with these people yet? Yeah. Okay, uh, let's see, we've got, because you got to be logged in. I'm going to let you do that. I'm going I'm to blur this real quick. You need to put that in your... Uh, yeah. What the hell's beeping? Oh, the radio. Let me, is it uh, shut down? Let me know. No, you're good. We're still blurred. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blurred. You just didn't have it. You had your password up behind your email. I do? Yes. Go but ahead. even when I changed it, it still didn't. Uh, no, you still had the. This is it. You I still had, had wrong, it. I was using the wrong one, too. Right, but you had. What I'm saying so, is that you had it. Uh, where should be the very last one. This one. No. Go down. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, don't in. There you go. See here? We need to get that out of there. Oh, uh, yeah. But that's the wrong password. Anyway. Okay. Now, nah, there you go. Alright, yeah. now. Get that back to there now. Do I like to store my password? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Okay. So uh, you know, it's no big deal there. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, I'm gonna right click, open a new tab. I've got a bad habit of doing that. Okay. But these are the EA files here. Okay. And let's see. 
Uh, that's not the, that was one I opened before you logged in. So there you go. So right up here, there's a download. Okay. And let's see here. You want to save. And then I'm going to go over here to this next tab. I'm going to download this one here. And we're going to hit save. Now we go back to view downloads. And let's right, get over there just a little bit, buddy. There we go. Um, open containing folder. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to go back here. And if you see where it says import, go over and go all the way down to the very bottom one. Okay, and these are the ones that we just got through downloading. So I'm going to hit that and then I'm going to hit shift. Now I've got both of them highlighted there. Open. And you can't tell because this is a RAM, but it's got some stuff popping up there on the bottom. Saying real flight not responding. There they go. See how it says successfully imported? Alright, now if I go back over here to select aircraft, what's going to happen? You're going to see that there's another file that's been opened up here. Custom aircraft. If you click on that, and then there you go. There's our two planes. The first time you open it up, it'll say creating DDS, and it'll take a few minutes before it loads. But that will never happen again once it's opened. And that sucks, man, when you download 50 airplanes, you know, and you're trying to burn through them real quick. And there's the Lumpkin Special right there. The Lumpkin B-29. Ain't big enough. Pretty dead gun big. It takes up the whole screen, man. Let's see what we got here. I'll send you a picture of my 10-foot, 6-inch Japanese bomb. Yeah, it's about size. Takes off like George flies. I do a roll. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. I think it's G. I forget what the keyboard command is for pulling the gear up. Or the... You know, it's surprising nobody really makes an R for a kit for B twenty nine. Well, I can tell uh, why the way this thing flies. <laughs> Underpowered. <coughs> hey, look at that. Inverted flight. There you go. Fly a bomber field on a full air on that B-29 and drop the drone. I don't remember. Mike Hodges or something like that. Yeah. yeah, we definitely need to go in and fix the power on these motors, man. You know, we'll crank it up about 400%. <laughs> and yank the wings off of it. He'd get a kick out of my eight engine one, wouldn't he? Oh, yeah. Six of them all face and rearward on the ailerons and two EDFs. No, oh, I've seen it. Two feet across the runway and it's up, it goes vertical. <laughs> and if you think the other ones you got need a bunch of batteries. <laughs> you ought to get China Hobby Line to sponsor you. Yeah, that one needs four, four cell, four thousands. Plus another one for the radio. Ooh! Boy, how to... Alright, 
Now we go. Where is it? Is it gadgets? Uh, bring the oh, I'm looking for the keyboard uh, commands. I forget where they're at. Help? Well, that takes you to a page, but uh, it will get keyboard you. Keyboard commands. You see? Right oh, there. yeah, yeah, right there. Okay. Keyboard commands. So. Y U I O. <laughs> y U I O. Okay. There's the bomb. Flaps. Gear. <laughs> Get the jack. And uh, I guess that one would be smoke. Nav guide. I've never even used that one. Radio, binocular, viewport, vario, multiplayer, overhead, timer, heads up. What is that? Eight or nine? Eight, nine. Oh, look at that, man. That's kind of cool. And then there's a chat, too. Zoom and all that crap. Anyway, so that's all good and fun. Now, while we're here, let's, uh, let me sit this down and come back over here. Since we're, since we're drinking tea, you might as well add some sugar. Close all tabs. I don't know what in the hell's going on with all these things down there, man, but. Alright, so we want to go back into files. Now see, here's a sim launcher. And that might be another, that may, that may fix all those problems that we had. You know, I just don't, I just don't know. If we go, let's see here, if I open up real flight, there's a setup there. Where's that damn readme file at? Free rider. That's that drone software I was wanting to put in. Couldn't be a very big program. Real flight takes up almost all of the CD. You want to install Phoenix? No. No, real flight's good. The drone program will be good. You know, my opinion is that real flight's best for the airplanes and Phoenix is better for helicopters and drones and stuff. Same thing here. 
it, it runs into a problem and then you just run setup again and I guess it's that it's its own way of dealing with crap I don't really know what's going on there but as far as we are concerned we only had to run uh, all right, so real flight drone. Let me minimize that. Hit finish, finish, close that. Ah, there it is. <clears throat> this was so much easier than the other one to install. Yeah. What the? Hold your left stick. You want to drive that, Joe? Left stick, well. Hold your left stick to the left while clicking OK. Okay, left stick. This is an Xbox controller though. Yeah. I don't know that this is going to work with us. Hold it up. Move your right stick to the left. Your right stick to the left. There you go. Now move it up. done it says input USB controller touch to mode that's okay mode two. panic help let's just see what happens you may have to have an Xbox controller to do this I don't know your controller is not doing anything is it no no okay Self leveling. Okay. Yeah, so I'll have to. Highly recommended to use a USB controller. Most of the ones will work, although maybe a bit setting up. You can use the keyboard to fly with what is that WSD and the arrows W S A and D okay oh what happened what happened You hitting buttons? Yeah, not tapping. Not tapping. Something's not done. Input keyboard not recommended. Well, we need to do that then. <laughs> Why do I? Oh, I guess when I hit that. I'm thinking I'm closing that one thing, but I'm not.
wonder how long it'd take you to get to the moon if you just held the W button on the moon. Right there, right there. We just to the center of the earth there. <laughs> That was boring. Yeah. I'll practice with this and then come get you thrown. Alright, so. You don't have your drone? I brought it out with this part of it and broke it He probably put the motors on an airplane. I wouldn't doubt it, none. But a whole thing just turned it sideways, had a four engine job. English install. Let's knock it. Let's see how long this takes here. Phoenix, right? Yeah. Part two. The thing I don't understand, you know, they, they claim. Seven and one, twenty-four and one, eight and one. Man, I don't see no damn eight programs on this damn thing. Uh, they counting all the real flights. I guess. One yeah, they must seven. be. Yeah, yeah like cause. Uh, all right, and yes. All in all, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, I'm impressed that it's working. It's, it's quick. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, Where'd you get your Harris County Jail shirt, man? Harris County. How long did it take you to get inmate off the back of it, though? <laughs> <laughs> it, it embeds in your skin, is what happens. It doesn't really. You got about a million of them. Yep. Yeah. Car parts. You know, like, like screws and bolts and nuts. Yeah. Where are those in? Yeah. You know you had them. Didn't you? Yeah. Well, I know I got. Yeah, there was. Uh, I bet. There, I bet. Yeah, I there was, bet some there was these there big. You yeah, there was these big red trays that I bought when I bought that welder. Uh -huh. Probably ten thousand nuts and bolts and screws and stuff, and I crammed back there like eight years ago, man. Well, I must have pull them on up. All right. And then uh. Yeah, where well, we can get to them. But then on that back shelf back well, there, I, covered well, up. I mean, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you out here uh, now, right now. Just, just later on, I, I'm gonna need you out here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'm be on. out there pretty soon. We're almost done with this. Yeah, I was saying whatever you know, but uh. Before I put everything back in, I'll, you know. Okay. I know there's probably some stuff that you want to throw away and stuff you want to keep. No, I don't want to throw anything <laughs> away. <laughs> oh, <this laughs> I probably don't want to look. I've already put some stuff in the bar. Yeah, you probably better. Yeah, that's stuff that uh, <laughs> I have patience of saints. Well, I always like the idea of uh, I'm using the wrong one, but it used to be tape that you programmed a CNC machine with and little tiny rows of dots lay it on there, tape it down and paint it on and off. Yeah. There's all kinds of stuff around here. That's what happens, a little bit of water will be in those pressure washing pumps and then when you have that hard freeze, man, that thing goes to ice and it'll blow that pump up. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. So I can uh, put some more stuff on Okay. You gotta sit late and give it one. It's okay. almost too heavy for some oh. of this stuff. Uh, what the hell is this? Look doing? at this one thing. You, huh? can look, you can look at it from the porch. Look at this one thing real quick. What? This shell. The brown one? Yeah. What about it? Yeah, it's got firewood. It, it can be as long as you got a place to put that jump house that's in there. Okay. I think it was sitting, that jump house was sitting in the, on the shelf, wasn't it? All we gotta do is go to Lowe's, man. Yeah, but I'm not gonna buy a shelf when I've got one sitting there just so you can burn it. <laughs> Don't take that dude to Lowe's. Use the kid's fingers. Maybe we'll build some shelves. We're like, all right, man, we'll go get a couple planks, you know. And he's over there looking at $50,000 worth of commercial shelving, you know. 
I'm like, dude, I gotta have floor space here in the shop. There's not a lot of it, you know. Originally, though, I was gonna run that shelf there all the way around to there and then here all the way back around, you know, so we'd have those shelves. The problem is they're only 18 inches. And they only, you know, your models or the kits, they won't sit on that shelf, you know, unless you put them sideways. You know, you put them sideways and, it, you know, you can't get but about 10, 10 kits all the way around the building, you know. We want to sell this place and build, you know, um, somewhere between seven and 10,000 square foot building. Oh, will the homeowner association or zoning let you do it? I'm not going to do that here. Oh, all right. You know, that would cover this whole property. Uh, probably a little further out. Problem is, though, is I've got all my money tied up in this thing. So if I sell this, they're going to want me out. You know, within X amount of days. And uh, it's kind of hard to buy a place, build a place, you know, when you are living in your place that you want to sell, you know, so I don't know how I'm going to pull it off because I really don't want to get banks involved in my business. I don't like borrowing money. I never have. way before it gets paid off she can beat them that way <laughs> <laughs> when do you start buying right, that place that you're in now uh, at it, um, 16 oh okay well you pay that, pay that thing off pretty quick then yeah well that's what screwed this property because uh, I wouldn't have bought this place, but, you know, we, we uh, took it over, I don't know what, six, seven years ago or something like that. And uh, the day before I took it over, they refined it. And she had paid on this dead gum house for almost 12 years when she refined it. They were paying, I think, 800 or something like that a month. You know, but she was paying like 1000 or 12 or, you know. And uh, when she refinanced, she lost all of her. That's what I tried to explain to her, you know, um, after she did it, of course, because I would have put it on paper. But, you know, you get halfway through your damn note, you know, and you're about one to one with your amortization. And then her part payment after she refinanced, it goes back to a penny, you know, to the principal. You know? So then all you do is you pay up another 10 or 15 years of interest, you know, before you really start kicking up, you know. So I've been making double payments and, uh, well, not double, not quite double payments, but, you know, a couple hundred dollars extra a month, you know, and every once in a while I'll pay an extra note or two to principal. But I think I got 60 left on this to pay. You know, but uh, I'll probably be able to get about 120 liquid after it's paid off. Uh, or if I sold it today, you know, I'll probably be able to have about 120 left over. 100, 120. This guy should be able to build a pretty nice place for that. You know. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. That's what we're going to do. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've already got the plans and everything drawn up. Rough draws, anyway. I'm going to have a wood shop, metal shop, and then the hobby shop. You know, because you can't do wood and metal in the same place. 
know. I'd even like to have a little paint booth if I've got the room. Nothing big, you know. Enough maybe to roll a small car in or something, you know. And not really a real paint booth, just an area to paint. You know, something you can keep clean of all the dust and yeah. I made them out of plastic. Jumper, I mean, he just made mine out of sheet rock. If one of them got conducting. Man, that's not a bad idea. Cut a hole, put a fan in one end, put it on the other, put the fan blowing out. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, yeah. That's what the bug was just painting it. Well, you just set it up on your driveway or? Yeah, but I could, I, you could do it inside of the garage. Well, you, know. you unscrew it and stack it up? And... Sure. Mm -hmm. I was painting so infrequently. No, oh, okay. Sheet rock, sheet rock was so cheap because I was just buying that real thin shit. You mm -hmm. don't use it. It's not no more. No. I took just my own time that off. Yeah. Everything, dude, I went to buy some two by fours to crate that goat that was shipped. The tote goat, for those who think I'm shipping the live animals, uh, that mini bike in the trailer, and they wanted uh, a, a pink stud was eight dollars and sixty cents, and just a you know the one almost stud? one stud, and the almost stud, you know the inch and three quarter by whatever, you know it's not even a two by four. Uh, the, the baby two by fours, it's five dollars and fifty five cents a piece. It's You would hope. But yeah, and that, that just drove me. Uh, man, I, I run around that store. I was like looking for managers. It's like, man, there's no way. You know, I remember paying 35 cents a, a two by four. Yeah. And I remember when they got 97 cents, they were high. And after a hurricane, they were $1.50. It's the highest I've ever seen them. Maybe $1.60 or something like that, you know. But. Uh, all right, and then uh, best I remember, we just closed this, yeah. and we close and finish. Let's see here, that and that. Uh, yeah, so. uh, all right. Let's see. We'll close that. All right, now. What if you close that? Because we don't have anything else to show you. No, because I closed it earlier. It did not. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me get over here real quick. Uh, set up new controller. Next. 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 And sure. This was the last one that we were dealing with, and we started having a lot of problems with it. Uh, I don't think you can go buy this, but if you do, uh, uh, go buy the box anyway. But if you want one of these, give us a holler. Got to know Joe Hobbies in Spring, Texas. Google us. You can find us and uh, give us a holler. If you call me early, I'm not answering, though. I can promise you that. Y'all have a good day. Thanks for watching. Sure you want to quit? Yes.